Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to help you solve a frustrating problem known as senerosis. Now, senerosis happens when you have two incompatible lipids together. Now, we know that lipids and water will not mix, oils and water will not mix without an emulsifier. But did you know that there are polar and non-polar lipids that simply won't go together unless you're using a suitable oil compatible gelling agent and sometimes won't come together even with a gelling agent present? Let me show you what I'm talking about. You may recognize Cinerosis as the oil coming out of a balm. You may also recognize it as little beads of sweat forming on a lipstick. This can also happen in water and oil emulsions where there is a large quantity of oil continuous phase. What's happening is incompatible lipids. So here I have pre-prepared some castor oil with some dimethicone added. And you can see even though they are oils, they have separated out into two different oily layers. This is because the dimethicone is non-polar, while the castor oil is polar. And together, they simply won't mix. And long term, if I was using this in a balm, a water and oil emulsion, or a lipstick, you would see cinerosis. Now, if you combine silicons together being non-polar, you won't have this happen. And you don't necessarily just need to use plant oils. Here I have castor oil, and to this I have added isopropyl myristate. Now, isopropyl myristate is not natural. It's a very polar ester, but as you can see, it goes in perfectly to the castor oil, which is also polar. So there you have it, a very simple solution to what can be a frustrating problem. Just remember to keep the polarities of your lipid similar, or if you want to use a non-polar lipid in the presence of a polar lipid, make sure you keep the content quite small and use a suitable oil gelling agent or emulsifying system to help stabilize these two otherwise incompatible materials. Happy formulating.